My skin looks so good. What's up everyone? Sorry if you can hear the fan, it's quite hot today. I'm in such a good mood. I did the best workout this morning. I don't know, I've just been loving life, you know? So I thought today I would finally film the first impression video on the new, I was gonna say naked range. Wait, it is, Urban Decay range is what I was gonna say. But I'll show you. These right here, so this is no longer super new or anything. New to me, I've not tried it yet and I'm still getting requests like all the time to actually try it out. I guess some of you guys are waiting to hear my opinion so I wanted to do that for you guys. If you have tried this, comment down below. Let me know what your skin type is and what your review is. Do you love it? Do you hate it? How does it work for you? Would you repurchase it? Hopefully we can get a few reviews down below so that in addition to this video people can read the comments and get a little bit more, you know, a few more opinions and everything. So yeah, I'm going to be trying this. It's called the Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation up to 24 hours wear. I'm probably going to use it for about 10 to 12 hours. We'll see how we go, see how tired I get later tonight. It's a little bit bright, isn't it? I feel like, oh, is that better? Is that a little? That's probably better. A bit flushed still too. So we'll see how it covers up all of this redness. And I've also got the Stay Naked Correcting Conceal. I've got a couple of shades, so hopefully one of them suits me today. We're just gonna do this like normal. I'm going to apply it on camera. I'm gonna do half of my face with primer and half of my face without primer so we can see if there's any difference in how it looks and how it wears throughout the day. And we're going to just check in a few times throughout the day as normal. I'll show you guys how it's looking. For me, I like my foundation to look flawless for at least six or seven hours. Like I feel like that's a good amount of time with no touch-ups and a bonus if it lasts even longer. I'm gonna let you guys know. I have normal to dehydrated skin. Right now it's very normal. It's not very dehydrated at all. So without further ado, let's just dive on in. On half of my face I'm just going to take my Stila One Step Correct because it's the first primer I have found. We'll do it on this side today. So this is going to be the prime side. I think after this video I'm going to film a makeup tutorial using old favorites slash products I haven't used in a long time because I haven't done that in a little while. I remember filming one a while back. If I can find it I'll link it down below for you guys. I had so much fun doing it so yeah. Just started doing declutters again of my foundation and concealer collection to make way for all these new things. And it kind of like sparked my interest again to like, you know, go through and use stuff that I haven't used in ages because I've just kind of used the same things over and over. Okay, this is actually the first time I'm trying this, seeing this, feeling this. I've not even, I don't think I've watched any like tutorials or first impressions that anyone else has done on this product. So this is my pure virgin. <laughs> <laughs> opinion. Packaging is really out of it. It's actually like kind of lightweight, which is really good for travel and quite thin, like slim. So yeah, you could slide it into your makeup bag or your handbag nice and easily. I thought it was going to be glass and quite heavy, but I'm not mad. It does feel a little bit cheap, but to be honest, I don't really care because I like how it's really lightweight. There's a time and a place for luxurious packaging. I like both sometimes. So we have the shade 30 WY and 20 NN. So I think NN means neutral neutral and then WY means warm yellow or something. I'm just gonna look it up. They have a lot of different undertones just to make it easy when you're selecting your shade online which is really clever. I'm gonna talk about it in a second. I'm gonna read what the website says as well. So on Mecca at $66, that is New Zealand, this foundation offers a buildable medium coverage with real skin natural finish, lasting up to 24 hours, lightweight yet long wearing, designed to look like skin, categorized by shade intensities, master tones, and undertones. 50 different shades, which is amazing. So to work out your perfect shade match, start with figuring out the intensity. So I think that's like the darkness, so like 10 being paler, you know, going up. So I've gone with 20 and 30. And then you select your master tone, which is the next letter. So mine, I've got like a W1 and an N1. I think the 20 NN I selected for like no fake tan, but that actually looks like it's gonna match me today. And I've got like a lot of fake tan on right now. Anyway, so you've got cool, neutral, and warm. And then your undertone is below this. Oh, okay. So master tone is the overall tone, and then undertone is your undertone. So I've got in one with uh, yellow, and one with neutral. There's a lot of information online if you're gonna buy it online. Maybe just look it up and try to work it out for yourself, because this is a lot to like wrap around my head, okay? Waterproof and breathable, and it minimizes the appearance of pores, so you always look like you. Boom, okay, so it's rated 4.5 out of five. I've got high expectations. But first, let's try out 
some concealer around my eyebrows just so that that steps all nice and done. So the packaging on the concealer is really pretty. It's a square, nice and lightweight, nice and slim, and a gold lid which looks really effective as well. You've got your colour on the bottom as always. So I've got 30NN and 20NN. I probably should have gone for like 10NN as well. I'm not too sure. So I'll go with the lighter one which is 20NN. This is going to get very confusing. I'll write down below in the down bar which shades I got just to make it a bit clearer because I feel like this is all just going to be very overwhelming for you to watch. I'm just making this a little bit darker so you can see everything. Okay, straight off the bat feels thin and lightweight. Like I can tell straight away it's not thick and heavy. And not every concealer is good around the eyebrows so I'm going to take this with a grain of salt because we will test it under our eyes afterwards as well. But I just want to see, you know, how it goes around the brows as well just out of interest. Gorge. <laughs> Using a concealer brush, I'm just going to spread this out. The coverage looks really good so far. It feels almost like, I don't know because I'm not touching it. Yeah, it's a little bit tacky-ish, so it's really sticking to my skin. It's not like bleeding everywhere, if that makes sense, because it's like sticky, even though it's thin. Because usually a thin concealer like bleeds and moves around, but this one's like, yeah, tacky. And a little bit goes a long way, like I didn't put any extra on my eyelids and that coverage is decent with that. Obviously you can still see underneath some of those veins but that's like literally the smallest amount of product so I am impressed. We will add more soon. When it sets, look at this. So this has been sitting here for a little bit, like it's harder to blend once it sets. It still will blend but once it sets, it sets. Look at that. So you imagine if I leave it for even longer, I don't think it's going to budge. So that's actually a really good quality for around the eyebrows actually because you don't want it to smudge and bleed into the eyebrow like if you're doing this technique like what I like to do. I'm being quite rough to blend it out at this point so if you do work quite slowly maybe do one eyebrow at a time. So far very good. That looks like brilliant and it actually is a little bit paler which is good. I thought it was going to be super super dark but it's looking okay. Now let's try the foundation. So I'm just going to squirt them on my face first. They come with a pump light you can see. So this shade right here is 30WY, actually, I feel like they look darker in the packaging. Do you guys reckon? I feel like it kind of, that looks lighter, I don't know. And then 20NN right here, which is, okay, yeah, that's definitely, well, I thought this was going to match today, but no, that's definitely a little bit too pale, so that's good, that'll be more for my non-fake tan skin, because when I don't have fake tan on, I've got a slight yellow undertone, but it's kind of neutral, kind of slightly yellow, whereas when I've got fake tan on, it's much more golden and yellow. Let's just take that as single pump, the pumps are quite small, and just like the concealer, it feels very, very, very lightweight, so I'm just going to start blending that out. I've got a damp sponge right here, that looks like light coverage, but it looks like skin, but like... I mean, it blends in completely. I can't even see where I put it, which is a good thing, I guess. But also, I need more coverage. So I'm gonna go in with another pump. Maybe, should we do two? No, let's just start with one. I don't wanna accidentally use too much. Like, you can see where I'm putting it, but it just blended into nothing. That could be a good thing though, hold on. I'm gonna um, make this darker and closer, just so you can see. This may be one of the most friggin seamless foundations I've ever used in my life because I put it on and I'm like where did it go? But when you compare it to the other side of my face it's clearly much more flawless and I was quite pink and it's oh that sounded weird because I was hitting my voice box. Um, It looks way less red now. I'm just gonna pack whatever is left on my sponge which is like stuff all but just press it onto my nose. You know what like that is Probably for a lightweight foundation, one of the best coverages. I'm curious to do another um, pump once we finish the other side of my face, but that's two pumps, right? Which is quite a lot, but still. It doesn't even look like I'm wearing foundation. Like it does, but it doesn't. I don't know how to describe it. What do you guys think? Like, I feel like that just looks really natural, but it looks flawless still, and it definitely it made my pores look really smooth. Remember though, I do have primer on this side, so Let's just do the same on the other side. I'm going to use two pumps. I feel like the first pump I did was only like a half pump because now that I'm pumping it out, that looks like a lot more product. So I might just like 
place a little bit on my forehead and chin and nose. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing here. Look, it's like magic, it just melts into the skin and looks like traceless. Do you guys know what I mean? Yeah, that first pump was not a full pump. The pump's actually bigger. I feel like I mustn't have done like a full press, which is weird, but anyway. Cause look, I feel like I could use about three pumps over my whole face when it's a proper pump like that. I'm actually like really impressed. They look so pretty. Still got a little bit of redness here. I'm hot though. So I'm not gonna keep piling it on cause I feel like later on when I've cooled down a bit, I've got my aircon on, I feel like it'll just look cakey if I start doing that. Blends in flawlessly with this fake tan too. I could probably keep building it up a little bit. I feel like there's a little bit of pinkness just here. I'm gonna do like the tiny, actually no. I'm going to use some of the other concealer, 30 in the end, and I'm just going to do a little bit just to add some coverage just here. Just to see how it works on the face. It's blending out lovely. I feel like it's a little bit too pale, but we'll make it work. This is a good skin day, to be honest. Like, I think that looks flawless. I'm really impressed so far. It feels comfortable. I can't feel it on my face. Like, it feels like I'm wearing nothing. It feels like I'm wearing moisturizer. I'm not even joking. And it ended up being like quite a lot of product, but like, it doesn't feel like it. I'm really impressed so far. Let's just put on some concealer. I don't know if this one will be too pale. This is the paler one, but let's just give it a go. And I'm just gonna use my sponge. It looks so good under the eyes. I don't know, like 2020 is off to a strong start with my first impressions apparently because this is just like amazing. Does this have SPF in it? I hope not because like literally, I'm not even joking you. Like I feel like this would be so beautiful for wedding makeup. It looks like satin. My skin looks like butter. I look poreless. I look flawless without looking cakey and heavy. Oh my goodness. It's definitely much more lightweight than my NARS Natural Radiant. That's my like holy grail foundation, you guys know. It feels lighter than that, but the finish is almost similar. Maybe a little bit less matte. This one's finish is almost like a little bit fresher. Really quickly, I'm going to put on my powder and everything and then come back and just show you guys like how it's looking. We'll do a flash test as well. I feel like I probably could have used the darker concealer under my eyes because this one's quite pale, but um, It'll look fine once I powder, I think. Okay, guys, so I used my Australis powder all over my face. I'll link it below. And it is free powder under my eyes. So I did notice that the concealer was starting to crease a little bit under my eyes. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen, but it has just a little bit. And to be honest, I was like messing around. Like I probably could have like blended it out a little bit more um, before setting it just to like get rid of some of those lines, but whatever, it's not the worst thing. But just to note, but I love it around my eyebrows. I love it on my face. So maybe I'll use it more in those areas rather than under my eyes, but I don't know. I'll try it again in another video and keep you guys updated on how it looks. Coverage is really nice as well. Um, so this is how it's looking. I'm gonna do a quick flash test for you guys. I was about to say that like the flash made my face lighter than my body. Um, it looks like that. It looks flawless in flash, like flawless. But I was like, oh, it's washing me out. But Looking IRL, if we have a look, I actually do look paler in my face. So I think it's just paler than my body. I feel like my body is darker. So I don't think it's the flash. Like I think I did use like a paler powder and I think it's kind of like paled me up a little bit. So we'll fix that with bronzer. When I come back, it should look okay. Foundation itself looks so flawless. The powder on top, and it's not the foundation's fault, but the powder itself is a little bit powdery. Usually I use setting spray with that particular powder. Kind of a fail. So if I look a little bit powdery, it's not actually the foundation. That's how it looks close up, set. And the prime side and unprimed side literally kind of look the exact same. So that's good. Both sides look really, really smooth. This could literally be a new favorite. It looks like almost too flawless in this freaking lighting right now. The lighting's changed a little bit. Like literally my skin looks so smooth. It's crazy, but it still doesn't look cakey or anything. It just looks flawless. It definitely looks like I'm wearing makeup now that I've powdered, but it's not bad. We're gonna see how it wears over the next like, yeah, 11 or 12 hours. It's like 11 o'clock now. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, I've finished my makeup. So I've been wearing this for like an hour and a half. Actually, it's, it's been like two hours guys. Holy shit. Um, I just want to point out something like, I think it's a mixture of my eye makeup, like, but I look quite dark in here. Can you see this? Like, I just don't look super bright. I don't know, like, is the concealer fading? Or did I just need to color correct a bit? Or is it just the products I've used 
the rest of my makeup don't know what it is regardless I am going to go in with my small face brush and just like a brightening under eye product just to kind of fix it up a little bit we have my beloved summer bisque right here so this is going to add a little bit of coverage so the reveal on the concealer is just going to be like nil now but I will try it again in a different video but yeah for today like I just I don't know it's just bothering me I just want to look pretty side note the concealer didn't like crease or anything like that any more than it already did I mean it looks a bit prettier so that just helped to kind of conceal a little bit more and just brighten up into there that's why I love this so much it's like my ride or die anyway looks really good I did not use setting spray or anything like that because I just want to see how the foundation lasts without one and how it looks without one throughout the day so yeah I've got highlighter on I'm not oily or anything like that I'm real matte and the coverage looks beautiful and everything looks smooth and the products on top like the bronzer and contour and blush and highlighter all blended so lovely so i will talk to you guys in a few more hours when we've actually got like something to talk about hello it's me so it is now 6 p.m what's that seven hours i'm just touching up around my lips and it's not the foundation fading or anything it's just that i had a matte found i mean matte lipstick on before like you guys saw and i removed it and i just you know pulled it off um, so I did remove a little bit of my foundation around the edges, so just fixing that. I feel like sometimes when like you've got something messed up on your makeup, you can't concentrate on the bigger picture, so I'm just fixing that so that I can see how it all looks. Like, just a first glance though, this is the first time I'm looking in a mirror in a long time, since earlier today, and it's looking so nice, and in fact, the finish right now is like perfect, like my natural oils are kind of doing their thing, like I don't have oily skin or anything, but you know, just throughout the day my natural oils it just looks so perfect like look at my forehead like it looks like photoshopped I don't use any filters on any of my own videos here on YouTube or anything like that you guys know that so what you're seeing is real life I'm gonna zoom you all in I've got some fallout from my eyeshadow so I'm just trying to dust it off but um in the dark here you can kind of see everything a little bit better um, my pores, the texture, and it just looks so good in my opinion. I reckon it looks dope. I feel like it's faded ever so slightly just here. Just a little bit. So that's worth noting. We'll continue to see how it looks throughout the rest of the night. I'll probably just do like one more check-in unless I look in the mirror. Like I'll start looking in the mirror more now. If it starts looking crazy different, I'll come back and update you a couple more times. Otherwise, I'll just come at the end of the night before I wash off all of my makeup because it is looking nice. Hello, it's me. Okay, so it is midnight. So it's been on for, what's that? that 13 hours. Holy moly. I blitzed my face by accident with water. Um, I have one of those water picks or whatever they're called, like the water flosses, where you floss your teeth with the water. And... When you let go of the button it like sprays and I accidentally let go of it when I was putting it down and it like came up and flicked me in the eye. So you can see like all of my eye makeup ran but the foundation looks great still so it's definitely a little bit waterproof. It looks flawless. I'm really impressed. I'm gonna wear this tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to Wellington to try on wedding dresses which you guys are gonna see on my channel if it's not up already. Trying on wedding dresses at a flash little shop so I'm really excited to go and I reckon I'm gonna wear this tomorrow. I might film a get ready with me. I might not. It depends how late I wake up. I like it a lot. It looks flawless and that's with no setting spray doesn't look overly oily anywhere like my natural oils are starting to come through I'd say now like when I touch my face like it's a little tiny bit of like a greasy feeling but like it looks perfect on my nose it's actually like completely matte it's just highlighter and the lights reflecting the only thing I can say is it's faded on my lower cheeks that's the only area Maybe I've been leaning on my hands, don't know. Um, that's often where my foundation fades first for some weird reason, I don't know. And if you look real close, like after this amount of time, eyeshadow everywhere, those black dots, so ignore that. Um, you can see there's a little bit of separation of foundation on my nose, but I think it's because I keep scrubbing at my nose with brushes and stuff, trying to get this friggin' eye makeup, like all the little black dots off. But if we ignore that, um, the actual pores like through this area of my face they definitely look a little bit worse than when I first put on my makeup today but I mean they still don't look bad at all I don't think I look cakey after this amount of time and yeah it still looks really really nice this is under like crazy lighting too so in real life it doesn't even look this bad so yeah I am impressed I'm gonna keep using it 
this could be a new favorite. Like it really could. Packaging's a bit weird how it like cuts in like this, isn't it? But um, yeah, I'm stoked. So I'll have a link to where you can pick this up down below. I don't really have any cons about it, really. I probably need to buy like one more shade that's a little bit darker as well um, for a fresh fake tan. I feel like I'll get a lot of use out of these shades regardless. 20NN for pale skin and 30WY for more tan skin. There you go. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.